perfect. Ooh, I've been doing a double shot lately and it's been really yummy. It's super strong, just how I like it. Yum. I'm ready to get the work day started. I cleaned yesterday, so I don't have to spend my day cleaning today. I usually like to have Fridays for cleaning the entire house so that we can go into the weekend, you know, with a clean space. But I managed to clean yesterday, so today I'm gonna just do a bunch of personal things, work out. I have to get back on my filming schedule. I have to film tons of reels, shoot. I have to go to the mall to pick up some things. So yeah, let's have a great, self-care-ish Friday. some errands and I figured I would do a little get ready with me and I wanted to unbox a beauty pie box that I got in the mail today and oh it's such a nice cute pink box so beauty pie is basically a membership service that you can get luxury beauty products for a really affordable price it's basically like costco for luxury products so if you love skincare makeup all the good stuff then you would love beauty pie so i'm gonna unbox it's so cute it says happiness is beauty pie it says at beauty pie our mission is to deliver the absolute best in beauty non-stop at prices so amazing even a splurge is a steal and it's eco-friendly cruelty free clean beauty and it's recycled board so i'm gonna open this up your packaging is so cute. So the first item we have here, I think this is a candle. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So this is a scented candle. It's a 60 hour burn time. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so look how cute it looks. It's so sleek. It's black and it just has BA. It smells so bomb and i know this is high quality because it smell you could smell it through the box and it's a crush of green basil and liquor liquor licorice milk mixed with balsam fir wood honey and seductive vanilla musk you guys know i love musk so i'm actually going to light this up right now as i get ready look at this full size product this is a beauty pie super healthy skin gentle foaming face wash with natural vitamin c yes that's what i need i love using anything that has vitamin c it's really helped brighten up my skin and like help reduce the appearance of my uh blemishes so i know i'm gonna love this face wash this is a bronze body balm it's a shimmer oil body balm with deep nourishing vanilla and coconut milk. That sounds amazing. And look at the packaging. It seems, it's so luxe. The packaging is amazing. So this is called Awesome Bronze and it has shimmer oil body balm with deep nourishing vanilla and coconut milk. I'm gonna apply some on my shoulders, see how that looks. Beauty Pies Super Active Capsules pure double vitamin c and vitamin e what that is so awesome these are capsules so what you do is you lightly twist the this and then you apply this on clean skin that is so awesome and it is oh that feels so good this feels like a really this feels like a smoothing primer <laughs> that is so interesting you know those primers that like make your skin feel like um, velvety or like smooth? That's how this feels. 
but basically you apply this to to clean skin and then you can use it for morning and night and then you do have to wear sunscreen which i already put sunscreen on today so i'm good like before i started my makeup <gasps> Yeah, this feels so like velvety and smooth. We have this All in Wonder Illuminating Primer. As you guys know, I've been dealing with really dry skin, although it's been getting a lot better. Um, I definitely need something to illuminate and give me some shine. So I'm gonna apply this. It says to apply one to two pumps. So I'm just gonna do one, two. Ooh, it has like a nice tint to it. It looks like this like a nice little tint so I'm gonna apply that to the skin I think I could have done a little bit more pumps but I don't want to overdo it and it also came with this lipstick luxe shine let's see what this is just pop it up there we go Ooh, this is a nice fall color look at this it's a dusty rose it's like a nice mauve I'm gonna swatch it for you guys see Ooh. if you guys want to learn more about beauty pie i'll go ahead and leave their link down below so that you can check out all the luxurious products they have on their site i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and yeah we're gonna get on with our day because we have a lot of errands to do before tonight's festivities <laughs> lipstick it's like a nice tint if i put more it's gonna be more pigmented but i just want a little tint and it gives me a nice little tint so i'm gonna spritz my face now with my elf makeup mist and set and we're off here's my errands ootd i'm wearing this um tank from zara these sweats from H&M, my mochas are so comfy and I love the way they look with these sweats. And I'm just wearing this quilted jacket from H&M that I got last um, fall, but I'm feeling very folly and very excited. It is a little chilly today, so I think that this full fur hat is quite appropriate. And um, yeah, let's go get these errands done. <music> and lots of progress made lots of things being donated because we want to get started on our home gym very soon so here's what we're working with um we need to get another one of those shelving units because i think i want to put one on this wall so all of this stuff can go on top of there and then over here it looks a mess because all of the cardboard we're um recycling but we moved everything over basically on this side of the garage because as you saw before it was all on this wall but by putting everything against the walls we have all of this room to work with so um once we get this organization system finalized i think we're going to work with this half of the garage being the gym so i think our first step would probably be getting the windows i mean mirrors installed here probably not the whole wall just like a big portion of it i think that's going to be our next step and then gym flooring and then little by little we'll build it this is everything that we're going to take to the donation center i wanted to get rid of all of our clear storage bins because i just feel like it makes the space look a little messy and i have a ton of clothes that i didn't even 
don't even wear anymore some decor some r a rug this and then that little storage thing but we're gonna go donate this to the goodwill uh right down the road this morning i woke up super early like 7 30 and i got started on a ton of errands that i had to do i went to lowe's to get some things for storage i went to home goods i went to target i went to h&m did a ton of stuff that i had to do and i want to show you guys two amazing finds that i found at tj maxx um i wasn't even on the hunt for them i just went into tj maxx to look for um i don't even remember oh uh workout clothes because i wanted to get more workout clothes and that's like my go-to spot for workout clothes because their clothes is so affordable and really good quality for workout clothes specifically but then i found these two great finds here's the first one i found this really cute pumpkin it's like a nice chocolate colored and it's like that sherpa boucle i think that's how you say it but i just a really soft material and then it has a yarn stem so i put it here in this room um because i think it's, it's cute adds a nice little touch of fall this right here is my favorite find i found this bench and it looks extremely high quality like this looks like i found it like at a vintage shop or on rh or something can't really tell on camera but the wood has such a nice finish and it was only $170, which I don't think is that bad for a um, end bench because usually, especially if you want to get like high quality wood, they can go for like $600, $800. So I definitely had to grab it because it was such a steal. I'm still figuring out this room, but I know that I wanted to add a dark wood piece in here. I think I want to replace the um, nightstands because I don't think they really go with the um end table but for now we're gonna keep working with this but these are two things that i found at tj maxx that i was like i definitely scored on these today good morning it is sunday yesterday was such a crazy day i didn't even get to vlog much but after we um cleaned the garage we took my niece and her friends to the movies we were chaperones for the evening and then um and then we went to a friend's cookout so it got pretty like busy i didn't even grab my camera but today's sunday it's a gloomy day here so we are going to start the day off with some donuts and coffee because what better way to start a gloomy fall day and we're going to a new uh, donut shop we've never been here before i'm really excited to try their donuts because we heard it's the best in town right and they're um vegan did you know that you did i didn't, I didn't um know. Uh, vegan donuts, everything's vegan. They have bomb French toast. Not that we're vegan and it matters to us, but it's just, it's really cool. Like when a store can be plant-based and, or when a shop can be plant-based and still like super yummy. So yeah, that's how we're starting our Sunday. We were gonna go to church, but just unexpected things happened. Um, got home a lot later than expected. We had some family over, so we just gonna have to catch service at home today. We're doing a um, charcuterie challenge type thing. Like every, not really a challenge, but everyone is bringing different charcuterie boards, um, different themed charcuterie boards. And I decided to do a um, Halloween theme one. So I'm working on it now and I'm doing um, candy apples for it. And there's a ton, there's gonna be a ton of great um, different themes and oh crap i shouldn't have i should have explained this before i'm doing it because i'm a little distracted here not gonna lie so i just dip it in some chocolate i don't have any vegetable oil to thin this out because it's super chunky but it's all right i gotta do what i gotta do and i'm running really behind so i have the candy apple and i'm dipping it in 
chocolate. I was gonna do a caramel one, but I don't have time. And I have some sprinkles here from my cookie days. I'm using these sprinkles. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna try to cover up like the madness with the sprinkles. Look at this bat. I got this bat. I have a bat mold that I used to use for when I would cookie. So I'm going to put this bat on here. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to stuff it on there. Hopefully it sticks. Yeah. Well, it's the best we can do on this one. Well, I'll show you guys how my board turns out. Let me show you the apples. They look a mess, but it's fine. I'm going to try to hide them, sort of. Um, not hide them, but I'm going to figure it out. They look a mess now, but I think when I put them on the board, they're going to look a little nicer. So I just have all white. Those are some little um, fall leaves, the bat, and some sprinkles. <laughs> chocolates to make uh, my spooky board spooky and this is not it's not Happy giving it's, this is not a, <laughs> these don't look like ghosts but it's fine and so we have spookyville fondue fiesta town <laughs> this looks so amazing it does it looks so bomb and then the vineyard over here wow i cannot wait to make tacos here. Wow, girls, we did the damn thing. <laughs> welcome to my, uh, welcome to my crib. Go grab a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> tripod down below yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> this is so what we had to do to get a nice picture it turned out great together I got all these goodies from Trader Joe's we just put them all together I have white roses eucalyptus this interesting um, plant which they didn't even know the name of it but all it said was fall accent but I really want to find out what the name of this um, dry floral is because it's really cute and then I did more eucalyptus so just a nice a lively little installation in the kitchen I felt like this was a great way to start the week with some fresh florals I look a hot mess and honestly this weekend was quite the busy weekend i feel really tired i'm gonna get some rest and basically charge up for the week so i hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one bye